Good morning, it's Thursday the 1st of September and this is your daily outlook. The US dollar edged higher against a basket of currencies but fell against the Swiss franc and Japanese yen. Economic data from the US surprised the markets yesterday after it revealed that factory orders rose 2.4% in July, the highest figure in four months. ADP employment change was also released, showing a slightly weaker than expected figure of 91,000 expansion of the private job market. The number is in line with tomorrow's non-fund payrolls expectations of a 90,000 growth. Against the Japanese yen, the dollar jumped to 77.23 from 76.42 after dollar purchases by Japanese and US accounts, easing fears of another intervention by the Bank of Japan. Against the Swiss franc, the greenback shed 2.6%, falling to 0.7993 from 0.8208 after a government official said that, the Swiss, that Switzerland would have to live with a stronger currency. Focus turns to the initial jobless claims now. The euro dropped yesterday, weighed by renewed concerns over the eurozone debt crisis. Further pressure on the single currency was economic data that showed unemployment rate rose to 10%. The pair dropped as low as 143.53 from 144.68 and it was last trading at 143.62. Versus the Swiss franc, the single currency dipped to 115.25 from 118.51. The Australian dollar advanced broadly after a better than expected retail sales and capital spending data. Against the dollar, the Aussie edged as high as 107.21 from 106.51. Looking at commodities, we saw oil prices tick higher to $89.50 a barrel from $87.65. Gold edged higher to $1,839.50 an ounce from $1,811.45. And silver also ticked higher to $42.01 an ounce from $41.06. Now let's take a look at the currencies to watch out for. The euro dollar pivot point is at 144.20 with a preference to enter into short positions at 144.10. The dollar yen pivot point is at 77.10 with a preference to enter into short positions at 77.05. The Aussie dollar pivot point is at 106.60 with a preference to enter into long positions at 106.60. The sterling dollar pivot point is at 162.95, with a preference to enter into short positions at 162.85. And the dollar cab pivot point is at 0.98, with a preference to enter into short positions at 0.98. Now having a look at commodities, the oil pivot point is at 87.65, with a preference to enter into long positions at 87.65. The gold pivot point is at 1810, with a preference to enter into long positions at 1811. And the silver pivot point is at 4105, with a preference to enter into long positions at 4105. And on today's calendar, the market movers are the Swiss retail sales in July forecast to gain 4.6%, Europe PMI manufacturing in August forecast to rise to 49.7%, UK PMI manufacturing in August forecast to fall to 48.6%, US initial jobless claims forecast to fall to 410,000, and US ISM manufacturing forecast to fall to 48.5%. Now, onto equity markets. US equities were positive yesterday, with the SP 500 trading up 0.49%, and the Dow was up 0.49%. European bursts were also positive with the FTSE up 2.39%, the DAX was up 2.50% and the CAC was up 3.07%. At the time of writing, the Nikkei was up 1.18% and the Hang Seng was up 0.81%. This has been your Daily Outlook. I'm Emma Andre from Easy Forex Dealing Room. Have a good day. Not only have you found a great place for Forex news, you found a great place to trade it. Registration is easy. Just click join now. Membership has its unique benefits, such as the freeze rate, the trade simulator, the inside viewer, and personal dealers. Your personal account manager is waiting for you now.